Hello Aquarius, we are gonna take a look at your love lives from June 15th through the 30th. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rise, Rising and Venus Aquarius. It's a general love reading, you guys, as always, so it may or may not resonate, but please feel, wow, okay. Hi, Aquarius, okay. Um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I'd really appreciate it. If you need a general reading, my information's on my page, Jennifer Weaver. 304 at gmail and I can do a personal reading so angels what advice do we have for the zodiac sign of Aquarius from June 15th through the 30th show me Aquarius in love please show me the zodiac sign of Aquarius I did shuffle and pre and uh, meditate you guys but I'm gonna do some more shuffling on camera here show me Aquarius what does Aquarius need to know what advice can you give Aquarius for their love lives from June 15th through June 30th Aquarius Sun Moon rising all right passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy Aquarians right and also engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so for those of you that maybe are in a newer relationship it looks like it might be going the distance or to a higher level. Um, some of you may be getting engaged, um, but you guys need to enjoy this time here and, and really enjoy the passion that's going on, Aquarius. Um, you guys have some, some of you have something good going on. I'm feeling it. All right, what do you need to sh show or tell Aquarius from June 15th through June 30th? Show me Aquarius in love, please. Zodiac sign of Aquarius. Love messages. And we're all shaking, aren't we here? With the table and the shuffling, but well, that's just gonna have to happen. Sorry about that. Aquarius, June 15th through June 30th. Love messages for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Show me Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. Let's cut it and then we're gonna, well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do your love reading, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy is the seven of pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Your overall energy right now is just kind of being disappointed or kind of thinking something was a waste of time when it comes to your love life. Giving up on it really in essence is what you're doing. Um, kind of thought that maybe whatever energy you put into it just is turning to shit. So the energy is just not seeing the investment come through in some aspect of your love life. So let's lay out the cards and see what we have going on here. I know that you guys can't see them very well, but I'll hold them up, okay. Um, All right, Aquarius, let's get going on this. I'll clarify using the miniature right away, of course. Um, right, got extra there. All right, you guys, so coming into the current moment, you have the Six of Wands. Six is all about balance. Sorry, I had to pause there. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign, but coming into the present moment, you guys are feeling victorious. You're gain gaining some type of su success in your love life or just kind of getting a lot of attention. Um, what your challenge is, justice in reverse, sign of Libra. Um, something just not going your way, right? Or just that isn't balanced. That could be you or the person that you're dealing with. A an, an unjust aspect of your love life. Somebody feels like they weren't treated fairly. Um, what's on your mind is the five of pentacles in reverse, more Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, but really that feeling of wanting to come out of the cold, right? So that's what's on your mind. Um, you're wanting to be let in from the cold. Maybe somebody ghosted you or abandoned you or just hasn't returned text or, you know, whatever. But coming into the current moment, you're feeling victory and success. In the recent past, you do have the six of pentacles, more earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Six of Pentacles is all about balance. It's equal and give and take, right? It's equal. You're giving as much as you're receiving and you're receiving as much as you're giving. So in the recent past, you had some equal give and take. Um, maybe that's why coming in the current moment, you're feeling victorious. Um, why it's all happening is the Four of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. What did that card say? Engagement? 
right? Universe doesn't lie, all right? It's all happening because you're taking, you're gaining some type of stability within the home. Four of Wands to me is a commitment card, it's a celebration. Some of you are getting engaged. This can be taking a commitment to a higher level and coming to the current moment, that's why you feel um, this victory. And what's on your mind is, you know, maybe somebody didn't leave you out in the cold. Maybe, because sometimes when somebody new comes into our lives and we're opening up this brand new relationship or whatever, it's that feeling of being left, let in from the cold because you're now feeling that warmth. It doesn't mean somebody had to ghost you or abandon you. We'll clarify and see what's going on. Um, coming in, what you're going to experience is the Five of Swords in reverse. This is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's letting go of any kind of conflict that you may have had with somebody or just letting it go in general, like not really wanting to deal with any type of manipulation or conflict or nasty communication or that kind of thing. Um, just kind of letting it go. Say, I don't really want to deal with it. How you see yourself right now is the King of Wands in reverse. Leo Sag Aries. Now the King of Wands in reverse, when he's in the upright, he's an action taker. He's passionate, he's going for what he wants. But when he's in the reverse, he's kind of feeling a little bit insecure about it, not taking action. Um, you could be dealing with another fi uh, with a fire sign, but this is in your position of how you see yourself. Um, so maybe you're, you're just kind of losing confidence. King of Wands in reverse is, is kind of flighty, right? Like his emotions, one minute he wants one thing, the next he wants another thing. Um, and it can be kind of that player energy as well. So if it's not you, it could be somebody you're dealing with. We'll clarify, but that's how you see yourself right now. Maybe just not taking action. Um, the energy coming towards you, so external influences is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces you might be dealing with. Um, they're not able to walk away. Somebody's not walking away. Those external factors are the universe's energy. It doesn't have to be you or them, but normally I see it as the energy coming towards you. Um, coming in though, you're getting rid of conflict, Aquarius. That's your energy. But external to you, somebody is not able to walk away from something that they were emotionally invested in. Um, Maybe they're feeling left out in the cold and that's what's on your mind. We'll clarify and see what's going on. Hopes and fears is the hanged man sign of Pisces. I think you guys are fearing that you're just gonna be in limbo and stuck in, in this situation, either with this person or just in general in your love life. The hanged man is in limbo. He's just kind of waiting around, right? So maybe you're afraid, your fears that there won't be movement. But in the outcome, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You guys might be getting an offer from an earth sign or giving an offer to an earth sign. But that Knight of Pentacles energy is very slow and very careful, very methodical, very practical. The Knight of Pentacles is always going to study something before he makes an offer. Um, could be a proposal since we have that engagement card, but we'll see. We'll clarify and see. Uh, so anyways, I feel like coming into the current moment though, Aquarius, you guys are feeling pretty good. Maybe Maybe some of you are getting a lot of attention. Um, you have some kind of unfair treatment though that might be your challenge either with you or the person you're dealing with. Um, recent past, you guys were giving to some type of situation and receiving and it's all happening because of um, some type of commitment or celebration within the home or wedding or engagement. But we're gonna clarify, let's see what's going on. Why is the Five of Pentacles on Aquarius's mind? Five of Pentacles in reverse coming out of the cold or just feeling that warmth again, you know, if it is a new relationship or if you're involved with somebody already, kind of letting go of any conflict and feeling that warmth again. Five of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius. What's the Five of Pentacles? And it's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Could be an earth sign um, that you guys are thinking about that maybe just wasn't acting right. Sometimes the Queen of Pentacles, and when she comes out in reverse, she can be very self-focused. Um, she's kind of all about the money and herself, to be honest. You might be dealing with some energy like that that either wants to come in from the cold or you want to let this person in from the cold. Why is the Six of Wands in the center of the reading here for Gemini? What is the Six of Wands? What is the Six of Wands? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So more Earth energy, a lot of Earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is a lack of abundance. It's a lack of potential and a long-term commitment or a long-term relationship. Now, sometimes the Six of Wands coming into the center of the reading here can be somebody wanting to gain attention too. Maybe it's somebody that you had a falling out with um, and you know they're just trying to get your attention because there was a breakup or there was an ending of something that just didn't have the potential to grow. 
Um, let's see what else is going on here. Why is the Four of Wands? The Four of Wands is why everything is happening. What is this Four of Wands, please, for Aquarius? Why is the Four of Wands here? What is the Four of Wands? What is the Four of Wands? You guys may have let go of a commitment, maybe with an earth sign, um, and you're feeling victorious about it. You feel good about it, but we'll see. What's the Four of Wands here, please? Yep, Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces doesn't have to be, but the Knight of Cups is offering his emotion, right? It's all happening because there's a, a higher level of commitment here or some type of celebration. Again, we've got that engagement card. So, some of you guys are definitely taking your relationship to a higher level. Somebody's opening up emotions and offering their emotions to somebody else. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be, um, you guys could be leaving an earth sign out in the cold and they want to come back in. Um, or again, maybe you guys are moving into a new relationship and it's just giving you that warm feeling again. Let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Wands though. Again, I want to see, what is this? That was too many. Six of Wands for Aquarius. What is the Six of Wands? What's the Six of Wands? And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So a lack of potential and a commitment, right? Something just didn't have the abundance to grow. And it was either a karmic situation, a karmic relationship, or coming into the present moment, um, somebody's trying to maybe get your attention and want to come out of the cold, but maybe your energy is somewhere else, right? They're just trying to gain attention because they know that maybe you've left the situation. Um, or you're getting attention somewhere else, again, Aquarius, uh, because in this Ace of Pentacles type relationship here, there just was not that um, growth and there was no potential there for longevity. Um, again, the wheel in reverse, Wheel of Fortune is just saying that there's no change. You know, there was just nothing that you could do to make that work. Coming in though, you're gonna experience the Five of Swords in reverse. What is the Five of Swords? Getting rid of any conflict, just not dealing with manipulation or nasty communication or conflict, dropping it. Uh, Five of Swords. Somebody may wanna drop conflict with you as well coming in. Five of Swords. And it's the Page of Cups. So yeah, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I normally see this as the Pisces card, but it doesn't have to be. Somebody's offering their emotion. It could be a message. You could have an apology too coming in. Sometimes that uh, Five of Swords in the reverse, getting rid of, dropping conflict. The Page of, uh, page of Cups can be like an apology. Somebody offering, it's a message of some type. Uh, communication, offering their emotion, a little gesture. Sometimes I look at the Page of Cups as an apology. So you could have somebody coming in. Could be you too though, because you uh, are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You are Aquarius. So you're gonna experience dropping of conflict and somebody kind of extending an olive branch maybe. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, why does Aquarius see themselves as the king of wands right now? Also to Aquarius, you might just be dropping conflict with somebody and moving on and offering your cup to somebody else. Because in the foundation here, we have a lot of stability um, in a relationship with that Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups isn't a king. It's almost like, you know, it's not the page. We have the page, which is like the beginning of an offer, and then the knight, which is like maturing the relationship a little bit. So this is like an established relationship, I feel like, or on the newer side. Um, so I think you guys are getting rid of conflict. Coming in from feeling left out in the cold um, could be with an earth sign. And uh, you guys are offering your emotion, or somebody is. Some kind of communication. King of Wands. Why does Aquarius see themselves as the King of Wands in reverse? Why is this the King of Wands? Why does Aquarius see themselves as the King of Wands in reverse? The Seven of Cups. More emotion. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. In the upright, the Seven of Cups is kind of being confused. It's living in a fantasy, having illusions when it comes to your love life. You're just confused. Um, or it could be a lot of options. Sometimes that King of Wands in reverse, he's got a lot of players to play with. Okay, he's got a lot of action. And so maybe you see yourself as having a lot of options right now. Or you just see yourself as not taking action in some way in your love life because you're confused as what to do. But I see a lot of stability in the foundation here. I think it's more a sense of you guys have a lot of options going on. Let's lay one more card in the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups for Aquarius? And it's the High Priestess in reverse sign of Pisces. Um, could be somebody wanting to kind of open themselves up to you. Um, that could be the option that you have here. Often the high priestess in reverse though is not using her intuition or some type of secret came out. So you might see yourselves as kind of confused right now because something may have come out. 
um, regarding your love life. And maybe it came out that you're, well, in a new established relationship that's leading to a higher level of commitment. Who knows? You guys will have to tell me how that resonates. Um, external to use the Eight of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Sorry, I had to pause again. Somebody unable to walk away. Again, we have that water energy, but just not able to leave something that they're emotionally invested in behind. So let's see. Uh, why is this Eight of Cups here for Aquarius? What is the Eight of Cups external? And you have the death card, sign of Scorpio. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Scorpio who is not able to walk away, okay? Um, or maybe you're not able to walk away from a Scorpio. Um, but with death there, you know, it can, it's, it's normally an ending and it's a transition that needs to take place. You need to transform, you need to let something die so that something new can begin. But unfortunately in this situation, somebody is unable to do that, it looks like. Again, uh, Scorpio energy. Maybe that's why you guys are confused right now. Um, your fear is the hanged man. Why does Aquarius have the hanged man here as their fear? What is this hanged man? Clarify the hanged man, please. And the king of swords. So this could definitely be you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. King of swords is all about truthful communication, cutting through all of the shit though, right? Cutting out things that no longer serve the king of swords. Um, so your fear right now is just kind of being stuck, maybe in limbo, waiting, could be waiting for um, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, or you're just kind of hanging around, your fear is that you're just gonna be in limbo and not be able to, you know, but you want to cut through all the bullshit for sure. I think you're just fearing that you're going to be stuck, but I don't think you're stuck because we have this really strong foundation here, uh, Aquarius. The other thing I can look at that too is if you guys did leave somebody kind of out in the cold and they can't walk away from you, maybe too, because you're that king of swords, maybe your hope is to keep somebody just waiting and to cut them out with that King of Swords because that's what the King of Swords does with that sword. He cuts out the bullshit that no longer serves him because there's some more stability in your environment right now. And it's probably somebody that, uh, somebody like a newer relationship, but going to a higher level. I think your hope is to leave somebody hanging and to leave somebody waiting and to just cut them out basically. Because in the, in the uh, most likely outcome, you do have this Knight of Pentacles here. Um, Virgo Capricorn Taurus. I normally look at the Knight of Pentacles as a Virgo, but it doesn't have to be, but it's an offer, but it's very, very cautious, very steady, very, you know, very careful energy, slow energy, but it's an offer. Knight of Pentacles, what's the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius? And it's the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy here. I've got a lot of water energy here. So somebody is offering a pentacle to a Queen of Cups. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but that's what it looks like. Um, there'll be some type of offer either coming for you or from you, uh, Aquarius, possibly to a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I think you're really thinking about it. That might be who you want to let out of the cold here, too. You're thinking about coming out of the cold or letting somebody in from the cold. Um, but I don't think it's the same energy as this Four of Wands. Although it could be. Maybe you're just trying to bring stability back into the situation, into the relationship. Um, and then coming in, letting go of conflict and offering kind of a peace offering or an apology. Um, and you're taking your time doing it. It could be to this Queen of Cups energy. Um, because Queen of Cups is, is a Scorpio, and that external inner in your environment is the Death card, which is the sign of Scorpio. Um, they're not un, they are unable to move on um, and transform and let this ending happen. So maybe you're coming in to offer them something. But right now you see yourself as not taking action. Um, let's see what you guys were giving to in the recent past. With the Six of Pentacles, it's balance. It's equal give and take. Um, let's see what's going on. And the lover's card, so yeah, so you guys had, and here's the sign of Gemini. You guys were giving to something in the past. Um, the lover's card can be a soulmate connection, but it's a union. It's a pretty strong spiritual connection, union with somebody else. It's also a um, head over heart uh, decision, but I don't think so here. I think in the recent past, you guys were definitely in some type of a relationship where there was that equal give and take. And I think it's the person that's in this foundation here with the six or the four of wands. Um, again, there was an offering of emotion here. 
uh, could be with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But again, in the most likely outcome, there is an offer uh, being made. Could be, I see Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, but somebody's being very, very careful. Um, maybe they're going to propose. You never know. We've got that engagement card and, you know, being very careful and cautious with this proposal. But I see a lot of, like, dropping of conflicts and possible apologies, um, letting somebody in from the cold. Um, there's a lot of stability in this reading or trying to regain stability. There was definitely some give and take in a relationship in the recent past. But at the same time, you guys have kind of given up on something as well. Um, I see a lot of old energy and then new, more stable energy. Um, so this Knight of Pentacles in the most likely outcome could be um, a new person or a new relationship. Let's throw a card on engagement and see. What is engagement for Aquarius? Why is this engagement card here for Aquarius? Clarify engagement and clarify engagement for Aquarius. And it's strength in reverse. So you guys are going to be taming yourself. You're going to be holding back a little bit, maybe taming your actions. Um, kind of like the strength in the reverse is kind of like not having the balls to make a move, like being very cautious, kind of giving up on something. But I don't think it's necessarily giving up on a commitment or anything like that. I think it's more just, you know, in the upright, the strength card is taming your actions and your communication. But in the reverse, it's kind of like, I don't have the strength to do it, right? So I think that's why this Knight of Pentacles is probably in the outcome because it's an offer, but you're just really taking your time. Um, and there might just be some fear, right? Because strength in the reverse to me sometimes too is worry. Like it's worrying about something and kind of wanted to give up on it, but not sure. Um, so there you go, Aquarius. I hope this helps. And if you guys, uh, if it resonates, like, share, subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.